A new study is taking a close look at air pollution around the Wasatch Front and chemicals found in the Great Salt Lake. They want to find out if they're getting into the air naturally or with a lot of help from the U.S. magnesium plant to the west. New specialist Mike Anderson join us live now to explain why. Mike? Yeah, Mike and Dini, you know, the U, USU, and BYU all working together on this study with the Department of Environmental Quality, and they're taking readings all over the Great Salt Lake. They're looking for two chemicals that are naturally found out there, but that may be appearing in much higher quantities because of that magnesium plant. The Great Salt Lake impacts so many of us. But not all our sample sites are this nice. And not only for the occasional field day at the office, Randy Martin all right. is taking readings at Antelope Island to try and hone in on how the chemicals here affect our air, specifically chlorines and bromines that ultimately contribute to around a quarter of our air pollution. In particular, are they coming from one local source, the Great Salt Lake, or the U.S. Magnesium facility out in the southwest corner? As you may recall, another study suggested U.S. magnesium might be putting the majority of those two chemicals into our air, but a lot of them can also come from the Great Salt Lake's drying lake pits. Martin, who is a professor at Utah State University, says it's important to find or confirm the cause so we can better find solutions. If the main source is U.S. magnesium, we're going to have to know how much they would need to reduce uh, in order to see benefits along the Wasatch Front. This phase of the study looking into how those chemicals contribute to ozone, an earlier winter phase concentrated more toward PM 2.5. But Martin says by better honing in on the cause, we can get a bigger bang for the buck in using technology to clear the air. I think uh, in northern Utah, we are going to have some pollution problems for the next several years until we really get a handle on what we can do to help out. Steps he says need to be taken to help us all breathe a little easier around the Wasatch Front. And during the winter and now summer uh, months of the study during this first year, Martin says that uh, U.S. magnesium has been running at a lower production rate. Next year, they'll be uh, running at a higher production rate. They'll take that, those readings again and be able to compare them for that study. Back to you. Anything we can do to narrow in what's causing it and then address it, like you said, will be helpful. Mike, thanks.